Today's recipe is shrimp box. Remember when you were young and you go swimming and you get really hungry and the first thing you want to eat, what would that be? Like a nice slice of hot pizza? Ooh, that's good too. But you know what? Shrimp box is where it's at. Let's go. Today we're going to do two versions. Both of these are by Chef Baek Chung Won. Since this dish is so easy to make, the best way to ruin it is like sitting and peeling shrimp. Try to get deveined uh, peeled shrimp already that comes frozen. Works just as well. For each version, we're going to use about one cup's worth. Looks good to me. All right, and that came out just perfect. Let's put this on a medium high heat. Three tablespoons of vegetable oil. One and a half tablespoons of garlic. We're going to add in our shrimp immediately. And we're going to continue to let this cook until you see browning on the garlic. Ooh, it smells nice already. Keep stirring around so the garlic chips don't get burned. You see how you get some browning on some of them? I like it right there. At that point, I want you to reduce the heat to a low for just a second. We're going to drop in a tablespoon of butter. It's going to make it taste amazing. All right, and to season this, we're going to do half a tablespoon of fish sauce. Wow. Then give it around 30 more seconds. We want that fish sauce and the butter to mix together along with the garlic pieces. Turn off the heat. You know, we purposely seasoned with fish sauce so it gets a little bit more umami taste rather than just salt. And take a look at that. <laughs> we'll take a bite. Oh, that fish sauce did an amazing job of seasoning. Then you get the little bits of uh, garlic. Amazing, amazing. So what'd you guys think? Really fast, right? Let's move on to the next one. Hit this with around three tablespoons of oil. Three. And since this one is chili shrimp, we're gonna just do one tablespoon only of minced garlic, not one and a half like last time. Mix the garlic around, let it do its thing. Then we'll go in with the other shrimp immediately. All right, and just like last time, we're not gonna add the other condiments or seasoning until the garlic chips start to brown up. All right, the chips are starting to brown. Reduce the heat to a low, and then we gotta move quick. We're gonna do two tablespoons of ketchup. That's one and two. One tablespoon of gochugaru. All right, then one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and then one tablespoon of vinegar. Give this a nice mix so it thickens up. All right, and it's a little bit too thick, so we're gonna add a little bit of water, I'd say one or two tablespoons worth, just so that it turns into a sauce. Beautiful. And then at the very end, a tablespoon of butter. And that's gonna bring it all together. Wow. Look at that sauce go. Turn off the heat. Then I'm gonna just hit it with just a little bit of black pepper. Just give it a little dip in the sauce. And, oh my God. Get a good amount of rice down, guys. Let's put our garlic butter shrimp to one side. Don't forget the garlic chips, put them right on top. If you got the savory goodness, then we gotta hit it with the spicy shrimp on the other side. A little slice of lemon just for you. <laughs> and then some four leaf clovers for good luck. Yeah. And all right, there it is. A delicious shrimp box in less than five minutes. All right guys, this one still has the tails on him. Take them off as you eat. Get a little bit of rice in your shrimp. Oh my gosh, amazing. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we still got half of the shrimps left over. So this produces two bowls. Feed your partner. Mm. I'm really impressed by using the fish sauce um, for the garlic butter one. You think the the fish sauce and the garlic wouldn't um, wouldn't jive together, but they jive in. Man, this bowl, it reminds me of the food stalls that they have in Hawaii. Uh, man, they're good. And the shrimp stuff, 